taken but I'm technically free But you want it so bad So you just keep on telling lies Do you not see my pain when you look into my eyes? Happy Hump Day. My name is Rick Alexander and this is the Morning Coffee Podcast. I'm interested in whether or not you have an opinion about the day of the week. Most people do. Most people judge Monday as bad, and then they judge Friday as good. And then they judge Wednesday as somewhere in the middle, which makes sense because it's somewhere in the middle of what's good and what's bad in your life. But the thing to understand is that by creating something or judging something as good, what you do is create the opposite polarity of that thing in your life. And so it is your judgment of good in a lot of ways that is creating more turmoil in your life than actually has to be. So let me talk about why this is true. I'll talk about it with the days of the week because I normally do mention something about the days of the week here at the beginning of the show. So if you judge Friday as good, that means that you automatically create the negative polarity of that in your life. So something has to be bad. Now, the thing to understand about you and your life is that you're never one thing. You're actually all things and you're going to go through all things and you're going to go through all things all the time. And so because you're constantly going through your life and nothing's ever the same, it's constantly changing, constantly evolving, constantly rotating. Look, you're not even the same, right? You go through cell death. That makes it the fact that you are actually someone new than you were last year completely, right? Because your cells are constantly being reborn and dying. Because you're going through all of the things all the time, if you're judging a lot of things that's good in your life, you have to go through a lot of things that are bad in your life. And so by judging Friday as good, which you do because you're going into the weekend and you have an opportunity to stop dealing with your shitty boss or your shitty coworkers or the job that's sort of like denigrating your soul or for whatever reason you decide that Friday is good, you create the opposite polarity in your life and so then Monday becomes bad. And so then you have to live through a just as many bads as you do to get to the good. And that's how life is all the time. And so we have to be careful that we're not adding narratives and judgment to things that don't necessarily need it, right? Because you just are, right? So you are happy and you are sad and you are angry and you have the affinity to be all of the things to every single person. And so doesn't everybody else. And so if you recognize that everybody else also has the full spectrum, they contain the full spectrum of human emotions, thoughts, predilections, and characteristics, well, then you can look at them with a little more grace as well because you can understand that people are inherently, they don't have to be good or bad. They just are. They are all things just like you're all things. And so if you want to increase the quality of your life, try starting by actually just being aware. Your awareness doesn't require judgment. And you know what's interesting is beauty doesn't require judgment either. You can be aware of something and that thing doesn't have to be good or bad for you to appreciate it. And if you get to the point in your life where you appreciate things and you're not, you don't just appreciate what's good because you're not always looking for just what's good, then you're in a point where you appreciate, you can appreciate every single aspect of your character. Now, if also I take out the judgment of good or bad about other people and then someone presents to me with, I don't know, like the small side of their personality, the jealous side or the side of them that is angry about something stupid. If I don't judge them them as a human, as good or bad, what I'm then free to do is just be aware of who they are and appreciate what, what it is they're presenting me with. See, because here's the thing. If someone gets cut off and then they come be an asshole to me, I actually understand that. I've actually been through that. Like there's a point in my where sometimes my ego gets out of control and I'm not really good at controlling my emotions and thoughts. And then what happens is I end up being someone I don't like. If I understand that I'm all those things and so aren't they and they don't have to be good or bad, I can actually just appreciate them. When someone's going through something like that, I can hold space for them because if it's not good or bad, then it doesn't say anything about me. And that's the part that matters. See, your ego recognizes itself and others. And so it's a constant comparison game because it's a constant comparison game. You end up on an emotional roller coaster because when things are good, you're good. And when things are bad, you're bad. And so by judging things as good or bad, you give your ego an opportunity to identify itself through them. And you inadvertently at the same time, put yourself through the negative polarity of whatever it is that you've created. And so some things are good and some things are bad. But as a general rule in your life, if you can separate yourself from the judgment of good or bad, especially with things that don't need it, like the day of the week, you can just appreciate it for what it is. And then you're free to do whatever you want. But if it's bad, it's much harder to enjoy. But if you could just appreciate it for the the part of the human side of you that has to struggle and grind and work through something when you're tired, you know, who knows what it, you can reframe it in any way that you want. But it starts with awareness and appreciation, not good or bad. 
Because again, when you understand that everything is everything, there doesn't need to be a good or bad attached to everything in order for you to be more content or for your well-being to be increased or for you to be happier. So as you think through this hump day, which is a pretty bleh part of the week, right? It's pretty like, eh, people tend to not feel strongly about good or bad. So you can make Wednesday whatever you want. And you probably look back through the course of Wednesdays in your life and realize, man, some are good and some are bad because you haven't attached such a narrative to it. It actually gets to unfold and be what it is. And if everything just unfolds and be what it is, and you're not identifying yourself in that thing, you can appreciate it for what it is. And your well-being will stay on an even keel because you're not getting tied up in all of the polarities, the good or the bad. So if you can understand this one and you can work through it in your own life, it will, it'll it'll change your life in really, really massive ways. So I hope that you do. I also hope that you continue to tune in. I love you guys. We'll talk tomorrow with a long form episode where me and Ryan Muncy talk about how high performers think in our new uh, lecture series that we are bringing to military bases around the country. Love you guys. All hopped up, ready to begin. Start my phone, ma'am. Sees keep crumbling. Dirty head, stay tight. Couldn't loosen with the ranch. These rivers run deep. Mariana Trench, picking up speed. Easy round the band. Eye on the scope. Target focused in. My guitar is my gun. I strum it like the wind. Zoomed in on the pulse of the nation once again. So don't wait. So day by day, I will move.